Palais of One. We're going to use Selenium to scrape this website and actually we're going to scrape the first table, this table. But first let's install Selenium. First thing that you need to do is to download the Chrome driver. Just write Selenium Chrome driver download and go to this website and which version you need. So here in the Chrome, you need to go help and then about Google Chrome. And here you can see your version. Mine is 101. So I have to download the one Chrome driver 101 version, which is this one. I already did it. So you have to do it. And the second thing is to do a pip install. So just pip install, just pip install Selenium. As, as it says, requirement already satisfied. So mine is already installed. That's it. Now, what we need to do is create a Python file. We're going to import the web driver. So from Selenium, import web driver. And also we need to import the pandas library because to export the data, we're going to use pandas. We're going to import it as pd and now we need the url that you are going to use i'm uh, going to scrape url is equal to just copy this website and now we need the path for the path i put mine in in c you know that file yeah, that you download it you need to put a a path to it so for, for mine that's the path of my chrome driver i put it in c and then selenium drivers and I put it here you can put it at the same folder but you have to give the full path and then I'm going to create a variable called driver as equal to web driver that Chrome uppercase. In case you're, you are using Firefox, you can write Chrome or Safari. It depends on the browser that you are using. But for me, I'm using Chrome, so I'm going to write Chrome here. And then I'm going to write the path. And now we're going to access the website. So driver dot get the URL. And now if I run the code, you will see that a browser just pop up and you can see clearly here it say Chrome is being controlled by an automated test software. So Selenium is running this browser as you can see. Okay, now you know what you're going to do is going to click on this button all matches. Let's maximize it and right click, click on inspect. We're going to try to find a CSS and it or anything that we can't click on it. Again, press Ctrl Shift C, click on all the matches. Okay, so let's see something. Let's find something meaningful. Analytics on click. Okay, detailed per page. Let's try this analytics event uh, here. Press Ctrl F and copy this. Write open brackets, uh, paste it and then equal and then code. Doesn't matter if single or double and then going to paste all matches, close the code, close the uh, square brackets. Okay, as you can see, all matches is highlighted, so it works. Just copy it, copy the CSS selector. And from here, what I'm going to do is write press on button is equal to driver dot find element driver find element by css select let's try to find css selectors yes here it is and now just paste it oh okay uh, i need to change into a single code because i already used the double codes okay and now for clicking on the all match buttons we just need to to do this press button dot click that's it yeah that's it it's it's simple as that now if we run our code again a new prom is going to pop up and as you can see it was here and changed to all matches so it worked okay, i'm gonna close this now what i'm going to do then when the buzzer press on all matches i'm going to extract the first table so let's try to locate the first table press Control shift c and here panel body let's try to find this panel body it looks like it's uh much in several tables okay it's much in several tables it's not even a table, this one, see the search. So let's try something more meaningful. Another body, okay, here. We're going to close into the data. Oh, it's a big name of the class, so let's... T body. Oh, here we are inside the rows. Okay, what if you do table? Yeah.
Yeah, they lose our tables. One, well, this is the first table that we want to squid. This is the second. This is second. Okay, this one works. This one works. Okay, gonna take this one and do all tables and do driver dot find elements not element elements by css selectors and here i'm gonna uh, locate all the tables and now let's select the first table first table is equal to all tables and take the first index to, to access the first table and now we're uh, inside the first table let's create the first column of this table let's go back here first table if you go more closer, T body. T body, yeah, I can. Yeah, T body. Let's add it. Let's add the T body. Okay, T body. And then the first. So to tr to try and access the first column, I'm gonna use the nth child. So nth child. And let's write zero. What's going on? Uh, nothing. One. It looks we are accessing the first one. Let's go back. Let's let's go back to the first row if it works. Okay, this should be the first one, but why it's the second here? Hmm. It took all the row. What's going on? Oh, there is T R. And here there's TD. Okay, so try uh, write TD here. Okay, that's how we access the first uh, column. Okay, we add the TD. Now we can copy this in our code. And the first column is the date. So date is equal to table dot find element find elements plur, uh, yeah plural elements with s by css selectors and going to to paste the uh, this css selector so the second the others are going to be the same but we're going to use them wait a second I'm going to test them so table and the second one is a uh, team one going to paste it and going to change only the number here for the column two then score as equal to to this and change to three for the third column and then team two is equal to this the last column okay i'm gonna do the same thing here i'm gonna change the numbers and test them if they work okay amazing it works the third column it works the fourth column yeah everything was working perfectly so now we located the data we have we are returning here a list of all the data it's a list so when we do element, we're getting only the first value, but when we do elements, we're getting a list of the of all values. So what we need to do right now is create a list, some lists. So what we are going to do right now is create four lists and create a for loop and loop through those lists and extract the text of those values because they're not text values now they still have their tag so we need to extract the text of each list here so let's do l team or l date comma l team one l score and the last one l team two and equal empty list i'm going to create a for loop for i n range i'm going to loop through the length of for example date and then i'm going to do l date dot append append what i'm gonna append the the date of i i'm gonna go uh, a row by row that's why i'm gonna do we do the index i row by row and extract the text of it so we're going to do the same thing with others so here i'm gonna change to l team one and then again team one and then here score l score l score and then score here 
Yeah, for the score here, the score is integer, but we want to add it in the list as a string. So we're gonna do another parenthesis and do convert it to a string, str. Okay. And here the last one, the ltm2, the ltm2, and then team2. Okay. This should work. Now we finished scraping the website. We can quit or close. We can close our browser or we can close the browser that Selenium had opened. So I'm going to do driver dot quit. Now the browser is going to close automatically for us after it finished browsing or extracting the data. And then we need to save it into a CSV file. Now we need to use the pandas library, but before it, we need to convert it into a dictionary so that we can convert it into a data frame. So I'll create a variable called data is equal to an empty dictionary. Then let's add it. Let's do date, add that list, L date, and then the team one, L team, L team one, and then score l score and then team2 l team2 and now we're going to use pandas so df is equal to pd dot data frame and inside it the date not date let's call it data yeah data it's more meaningful and then we're going to do df dot to csv and here we're going to name uh, let's call it matches dot csv and i want the index is equal to false i don't want the index because pandas is going to create an index for us so i don't want it if you want to see what's the difference you can leave it on and see what's the difference now if i run the code i hope there is no problem but if, if, uh, if we find a problem we're going to try and debug it as you can see yeah it clicks on all matches now it's creeping it's extracting, it's, it was closed, as you can see. Oh, we got an, an error. Module pandas has no attribute data frame. Yeah, data, not date. I did a mistake, small mistake. Data frame, okay, let's run it again. Okay. Still, still a problem. Array must all be same length. Array must all be same length. Value error, which line? Line 31, df is called df.dataframe, not same length. Let's run it again. It says the length isn't the same, so we have to see which list is not the same. Which list is causing the problem? Oh, the second, okay, 35, 35. Oh, the last one is 70. And the second one is zero, okay. Team 2 did append. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I got the double. Yeah, that's why I got the double, okay. Team 1 here. Okay, now I think it should work. And I save it, and I'll now cut again. It's going to close now. Yes. Do we have an error? No. Okay, now we have all 35 inside the list and there is no error. So we can see, let's bring the uh, CSV file here. Okay, that's the result. So we scraped that table successfully. As you can see, so the date, the team one, the score, and the team two.